Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big uncle, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, all right? We're getting right to it. The NBA Finals are here. Oh, yeah. And we're going to take a, a different approach to it. We're going to talk about legacy. Yeah. We understand that a championship is important to any city, mm-hmm. but obviously we got Giannis, who's finally gotten over the hump, and Chris Paul, who's gotten over the hump after 16 years as well. We just want to talk about which team. We know it's important to both franchises, but who does it mean more to? Is it CP3's legacy or is it Giannis's? Because remember, we're dealing with something that we haven't d- dealt with in a long time, and that's injuries. Injuries. Yeah. So... Just because you got here one year doesn't mean you'll get back to next. So let's kind of just dissect that. Yeah, I mean, for for Chris Paul, it has to be, you know, it's he's thirty six years old and he's just reaching his first finals. I mean, it's been a long journey for him. Yeah, and uh, many true ballers or baller fans already know that. Chris Paul, to me, always been one of the top 10 point guards in the history of the game. And then now to see him in the finally making the to the finals and the way he has made it to the finals. Because, look, you got to look at the road he took. He took a road going from the Clippers for the young with other uh, a younger crew than what he what he was, and um, to make them contenders, but they never reached the conference finals. Don't forget the Hornets started there first. Yeah, but I mean, that was during the time when you wouldn't he wouldn't even expect it. It's a baby, yeah. Yeah, so I, that's why they mentioned that. But when he got to the Clippers, that was looking looking to be uh, they were contenders in uh, Lob City, they called it, you know, and, that, and so. To me, that was not just the fact that they didn't make it, but to me, that was disappointing. That it was. Yeah. And then go from the Clippers over to Houston, along with James Harden. Harden. Yeah. And you would think that, okay, because maybe not for everyone else, but for me and how I view Chris Paul you would have thought that Houston could have got over the hump with those two stars. And they came up short because of... Injuries. Injuries. Right. So now he moves from... First of all, when this trade took place, is I'm a CP3 fan, and I always looked up to him and wanted him to do well, although there's other players I, want, I, I, I rooted for. But... Chris Paul was one of my favorite, and now he's on the verge of being traded from Houston to where we didn't know at the time. And at the t- so we're thinking that CP3 is on his way out. He get traded to OK- L- OKC, and okay, that's it. His career is over. He gets them to the playoffs but nobody's still really thinking he's ever going to be able to contend and go from OKC making everybody on that team better yes he did yeah and then move on to come to this year to Phoenix and now they're in the finals I mean that's storybook for a 36 year old veteran point guard and now he's in the finals for the first, first of all, the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, that was you know, he could he had never made it. made it to the Conference Finals. Now he's here. Now he made it to the Western Conference Finals. They lost to Golden State. He got hurt. That was I thought that was second round. No, that, that he was got hurt. Well, yeah. Oh, he got hurt. Okay, that was because to me, I believe and coulda, shoulda, woulda. We know that, but I believe if he didn't get hurt. 
that they would have beat the Golden State Warriors that year. Mm-hmm. I really do. I think they would have pulled it off. But he got hurt, and we know with that hamstring. and boom. So now, here we are. Chris Paul, CP3, is in the finals. And you never know if you'll ever make it here again. No. This is about legacy here. Because if he don't, if he can pull this off and beat the Milwaukee Bucks in this finals, I believe he have to because I don't know if he ever will get back here again. Yeah, if we if we dealing with odds, come on, we it took you 16 years to get here. Yeah, that that <laughs> that and, was hard and, work. And it, see, you know, and it's everything has always come back to me having to mention LeBron, but LeBron has kind of like spoiled us to the point to where we feel. I mean, every year he was in the finals. Whether he won it or not, he was in the finals. And I tend to think that it's something simple and easy to do. But it's not. And you're not guaranteed. I mean, Barkley made it to the finals, what, two years? One time. One. That 93. One year, right. You, you, you got greats that have never made it to the finals. And, and that's what we have pretty much deemed to happen to, to Chris Paul. And now he's here. Yeah. With a young core. Relatively, I mean, that's a young call. That's a very young call. Yeah, and he's in the finals, and if he does, his legacy is this will write the pit a whole the, the book. We don't know how it's gonna go for his legacy, mm. but if he can win this championship, wow! If he wins this championship, it's, it's no doubt about it that he is top three greatest point guards of all time. It can't even dispute it at that point. Definitely. But now, Giannis. Giannis. And, and, and it's, to me, when I look at this book, and when you when you announce how we're going to, what we're talking about today, you said that um, Giannis has finally got over the hump. Chris Middleton and Holiday. Oh, has gotten him over the hump right without now a doubt, because yeah. he didn't even play the last couple of games. Yeah, and they still there. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know. We don't even know how healthy he's going to be, or even if he's playing in game one, two, or three. We don't know with the hyperstenic knee. That's trick. That's a tricky injury. But does does the fact that they made it to the finals in those final games? Without Giannis, hurt his legacy? Well, that's a great question. And and I would say, well, we always like to go back to the fact that it's a team game, right? So being that they did make it right. advance without him, mm-hmm. now it's up to him being the player that, you know, he's he's been pushed to be, yeah. right? I'm not saying he's not a great player, but at the same time, he now has to alter his game now because other players have stepped up in ways that people have forgotten about like the Brooke Lopez of the world and mm-hmm. Middleton stepping up and doing what he does now that the finals are here and they've advanced without him the last what, three, two games? They played, two. They played three games without him, right? That's two. two he games. got hurt in the, that yeah. one. But that one in the... Um, in yeah, it was in, two games. Yeah. He like has to two. get in there and not resort back to his old ways because against this team, if he if he resorts back to his old ways in the finals and it doesn't work out, that's that alters his legacy in a very negative way. But I think that he's in a, a, a very peculiar position because although I know that Phoenix has some tough defenders. I just don't see the defender that could stop Giannis. But there is a person on the floor who has, well, well there's two individuals. <laughs> Monty Williams' defensive schemes cannot be, cannot go unnoticed. Mm-hmm. Because you, a place, Giannis will get his numbers, but it's how he gets them. Yeah. And when Giannis is highly effective, there's a possibility that it takes away from Brook Lopez 
and Drew Holiday because they take a back seat in ways that they shouldn't even think about doing, but they right. just get lost in the sauce. Yeah. And Giannis scoring 40 and having 15 rebounds, you need four wins. We know you can get a bunch of numbers. At this point, Legacy is making those adjustments and knowing that I don't need to go crazy all the time. I can trust my teammates. Yeah, and yeah. that's part of Legacy, right? Because mm-hmm. Chris Paul picks and chooses spots, right? Yeah, he does. He's a point guard, but yeah. but naturally that's what he does. So, all right, we we, we kind of laid out what what both players are, are facing at this particular moment, mm-hmm. but we never really got to the to to the meat of the, to the point. Who is facing more pressure in the sense of their legacy? I understand that Chris Paul is in his 16th year, but Giannis is also. If you look at the East, next year is gonna. Different. It's gonna be different. Yeah, even in the West, though. Yeah, it's gonna be different. Look, you got a you had a bunch of teams that Phil that uh, Phoenix had to play mm-hmm. that had injuries. Yeah, also. And shout out to them, they got through it. And it's part not of the trying. Game. To, that's not that's the same the thing to take away anything from what Phoenix done. Congratulations to Phoenix. Yes, sir. And them young 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 fellas led by. Chris Paul and Monty Williams, and when we was off air, you just thought you was talking about Monty Williams and Chris Paul together gives those minds gives them the upper hand in this in this series mm-hmm. because I mean all season you haven't really been so keen on Milwaukee's coaching. Now I think we both would right. want, but, but you have been even more. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. The, no the, adjustments the, made. Yeah, I don't. And I gave them the benefit of the doubt. And again, although they were in the finals, I don't see those adjustments that's actually needed. So what do we do? Well, what do they do? Well, there's at this. What point, does Bud do to ensure that that he maximizes th- this position that they're in? Well, I mean, the only reason why I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt is the simple fact that they had to play these these last games without Giannis mm-hmm. and pulled it off with a with a big with big wins. And if he can't see that he needs to not just go back to the old way of everything is surrounded around Giannis, and it's not to take anything around about with Giannis, but I believe that Giannis. Still would get his 30 and, and have those big games not even being the number one option. I think when he's forcing things, I think that hurts Milwaukee chances of winning. Mm-hmm. But I believe if Middleton and Holiday is the focus, I believe that they become more of a dangerous team. Because still of Giannis. Yeah. If that makes any sense. No, it does. I get what you're saying. Giannis don't have to be the number one option. Because the way he plays, and he does play hard, which is a great thing, which most superstars don't. He plays hard. And I believe that if he focused on the little things, rebounding, offensive rebounding, more more focal point on defense, I believe that that is going to make take his legacy way further than the Giannis that you're clearing out for, and he's the number one option. Does that make sense? No, it does. So it's, I'm so I'm gonna pose this question then because now we live in an era where the ring isn't enough. Now, it's, yeah. when you're the star, now you got to get Finals MVP. If you're Giannis. How do you approach that? Because that's Chris Paul. That's how they lose. Yeah, because Chris Paul could win this ring and I get Devin Booker can get finals MVP and it still means just as much. That's my prediction. Booker will get yeah. finals MVP. But if Giannis wins and or if the Bucks win and Chris Middleton gets it, that's a whole other narrative that's put into play. Kind of like what Steph faces. But do do Steph really face it? He don't really face it. And I don't I think it'll be the same thing. It's just a simple fact that Giannis has a ring, mm-hmm. period. That's going to be enough. Whether he's the MVP, that comes down to them winning multiple championships. Will he get an MVP? That's what I believe. But it's, at this point, just get it. You, 
just get that get a, get your first ring mm-hmm. and that's how Giannis should be thinking he shouldn't be thinking because when Giannis is trying to be and we've seen those games <laughs> those of us I, I know you guys out there you your, your team sports y- y- y'all know that if you watch Giannis when he's trying to do too much and, no. and mm. no, he doesn't. He's not. He doesn't come across as that superstar. He just he forces. He char- a lot of charges. He stays in foul trouble with that when he does that. But when he allowed a game to just come to him and don't put all that pressure on himself, he really becomes a star. And I believe that if he go into this series trying to win the MVP and be the best player. In the in 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 the, in the, in this in this series, I believe that's works in Phoenix' favor. Yeah, and so, two back to what we're talking about, Chris Paul's legacy. Yeah. Whew, this is interesting, man. It, it really is because, first of all, we like you said, we've been spoiled with seeing the same individuals in the finals for so many years to where just to see some different faces, it's kind of refreshing for the league. Yeah. But uh, I didn't see this happening and also the narrative that will come along with it you know what i'm saying because you tell me other than a, a true diehard milwaukee bucks fan or a true diehard phoenix fan no one predictions was right concerning this season in the nba i don't know anyone no and if you if you only one is a a, a true M, a NBA Phoenix fan or Bucks fan. Yeah. Who basically in the beginning of the season we would say delusional. If we if anyone would have told us that we're going to be talking about legacy in a championship series between Giannis or Chris Paul and that will be the final matchup, most people would have thought that we were insane. Now we can. We're not going into. I'm. I don't. I'm not one who's gonna go listen to, or have the conversation about. Oh, if this team didn't have this injury, or the, no, it happened. So that's what it is. That's what it is. And that's life. It comes with it. I don't want to hear anything about teams not healthy, because Phoenix wasn't healthy, and they overcame. Yeah. So, yeah. Chris Paul was banged up in the first round. Yeah. We see now. Milwaukee was banged up and they overcame. So it's just all a part of the game. And that's why even GMs going into the future, especially when we start talking about superstar legacies, they need to make sure that your team just can't be based on just one or two players and then like one, if one of those players are gone, then the whole team is different you can't you can't you're not even a a contender Mm -hmm. because one is hurt you need multiple play phoenix is a prime example of that cameron Payne. but is that cameron Payne? because we talked about this earlier cameron Payne been in the league for a long time have you seen him have this kind of effect ironically he came in the same year as devin booker yeah yeah he haven't had a real effect on the league. Even though he was a hype man for most people. So now why why the the big upcoming for 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 pay now? Culture change, C P three. Okay. What to prove that? What proves that? What proves that? Well look at his play. Okay. Look at his play. What about last year? He was an OKC. Who was Cameron Payne last year? Oh no, he no, he was in Chicago, wasn't he? Who was Cameron oh, talking about Payne who, yeah. in OKC that CP3 was affecting the same way he's affecting Cameron Payne this year? Oh, did it Schroeder? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Schroeder, who's now asking for a hundred million. Looked like he was worth a hundred million last year playing the long stop. CP3. Yeah. So legacy? You see what you see Chris Paul legacy? It's a winner. Everywhere he goes, things turn up. Even uh, Houston, I don't consider that a winner. Because I don't think that 
the true CP3 effect took place because he didn't have the authority, the trust from the organization as Chris Paul, the leader. No doubt. And that we we've spoke about that in the past, but even then, mm-hmm. when he was on the floor, it healthy, you, you still felt confident in them. You know what I'm saying? Like that he would make the right play. When he yeah. Wasn't there. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, legacy wise, CP3, this would cement him because he's on the back half of his career. You know what I'm saying? As far as Giannis goes. He needs to take advantage of this because you don't know if you'll ever get back. Come on, he he it took a while to get over the hump. So I think it's very important for both of them. But as far as CP3 goes, he needs this. He needs this a lot more than Giannis because of Giannis' age. The only problem I have with Giannis as far as importance of getting it now is the simple fact that he's in – a small market that's hard to draw players that help you be able to compete. And that, to me, I just think that the league is growing to a place where there's so much talent out there that you have a lot of talent on one team. And so the legacy of Chris Paul, to me, to bring it all to a, 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 to a halt, uh, which one is more important? It's Chris Paul because of his age. And he don't have as much time as, as Giannis does. And because of that, I agree. And that is the very reason why I'm going to make my prediction early. And I'm taking the Suns in six because CP3 is going to take full advantage of this. And he's going to have them boys ready. Monty Williams is going to have them boys ready. I believe so. They have home court advantage. Mm-hmm. They've been sitting for a couple of days now getting healthy. Yeah. You know? So it is what it is, man. And Giannis, we don't know how he is. We don't know if he's even 80%. Right. And the way he plays, he needs to be mobile. He, and the way he wants to play. The way now, if he makes the adjustment, I don't think there's an adjustment to make the way he plays because his agility helps him get around bigs. That's bigs that can't really stay with his quickness at his size. But then you can also bring players like Crada to guard him to take away that mobility. Mm-hmm. But then his size would normally take advantage of that. I get that. His size and athleticism. But is he healthy? That's why I'm saying if you can put... There's a lot of different matchups that, that Phoenix possibly can go with with, with players like Crowder and, 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 and then... Mikael and Bridges? And I don't think Bridges is... You know, although he's long and all that, I think that's just a nightmare. I think which will open up and just release Giannis. But if you play off of him, you got even someone like Tory Craig. They have the physicality, yeah, the physicality, and yeah. then even Aiton filling in at times mm-hmm. um, when they don't have to. They're not going to really if 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 Milwaukee plays the game with Lopez entire game sitting out at the three point then I think that the, the game is in favor of of actually Phoenix. Mm. But Lopez is more of the, the thing that's going to help determine Giannis' legacy, whether he's healthy or not. Because if Aiden is not able to help out the smaller crowders and all that, when Giannis get to the basket, Mm-hmm. Because Giannis can shoot over them, he can power over them if once he get in there. But if you got Aiton who's able to come in there and help out or even guard Giannis to keep him from getting downhill and just doing what he does. But if Lopez step up his game, there is no other matchup that Phoenix have other than Aiton on Lopez. Mm. So Lopez is the key to Giannis, whether healthy or not, legacy. So pretty much 
Bud holds Giannis's yeah. legacy in his hands. Because Lopez <laughs> needs to get down, mix it up. Down in the paint, there's times, of course, he needs to be out on the perimeter to spread the floor. And when Aiton goes down to help out on Giannis, on those smaller crowders and all of them, and Aiton comes down to help out, Lopez needs to be able to hit that, hit that shot. No doubt. And when he goes out the game, Lopez needs to be dominating the post. That's putting a lot of work on Aiton, and that could change and then that into to, to Giannis' f- favor as far as legacy is concerned. So, well, we gave y'all a mouthful, man. Like, yeah. it's, it's so many different scenarios of what could possibly happen. We can't predict the games. We can make a prediction. But at the same time, man, both of these players, well, the star players, Giannis and CP3, it's, it's a lot on them as far as legacy goes, but that's what big time players do, right? You step up, take advantage, full advantage of the opportunities that are presented, and we shall see, man. Legacy, legacy, legacy. That's what it's all about, man. So, anything else you want to add? <laughs> I haven't made a prediction. I know where you're going with it, though. I can tell by the way you're speaking. You in favor, Phoenix? Phoenix. Yeah. But you better step it up, man, because this is on you, bro. Yeah. Because it's all about adjustments. I don't, that's why I, Monty Williams, who we haven't really mentioned much in this, I think his legacy begins mm. in this series. Yes, sir. So this is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Once again, I'm your host, Earl Team, alongside my co-host, with Big Uncle Allen Team. But don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Whose legacy, um, I wouldn't say is that. Whose legacy is on the line more, if, if, for lack of a better term? Who needs this more? Is it Giannis or CP3? And also, who do you have winning this series? Let us know below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. Once again, this is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. We out of here. Y'all be good. NBA Finals. Peace.